Good morning. Um, this is a series of photographs sent over by my good YouTube friends Chris and Anne. And they live in East Yorkshire at Bampton in Bridlington. And this uh, series highlights the Scarborough Fur Collection. And uh, Chris had very close uh, contacts with uh, this fur over the years because he volunteered uh, as, a, as a helper there. Uh, so this is uh, the programme and the fur includes all sorts but uh, we've got fur, fur ground rides, we've got mechanical organs, we've got steam engines, we've got vintage and miniature vehicles and there's the uh, website. So I'm going to run through this uh, collection of photographs for you. I think it's well worth seeing. I don't think we have anything of the same uh, magnitude and calibre uh, as this uh, marvellous fur. So this is the kind of thing that you're going to see. Big traction engines, vintage models, trains, miniatures. The uh, organs were litzer. Listen to the melodies of yesteryear. I mean, this would be an absolute treat. And if anybody knows any uh, steam act, uh, traction engine furs and uh, motorbike and car uh, displays or anything going off in, uh, anywhere in uh, Ulster, you know, send me a, a, a message on YouTube. Welcome to the Scarborough Fur Collection. It all started as a hobby. <laughs> Mighty oaks from uh, little acorns uh, grow. And uh, this was a collection got together by Graham Atkinson. It's grown and developed into one of the largest and finest collections of steam engines, mechanical organs, vintage fur ground rides, and uh, cars, vintage cars in the country and motorbikes. One of the largest indoor attractions in the local area. Come along and enjoy the journey down memory lane. So it must be um, in situ right throughout the year. Get a cup of tea. We try to have as many rides open as possible. Afternoon tea dances. wedding venue as well. All in Scarborough. And we're on the entrance. And this is one of the big uh, steam traction engines. All lit up. Some say a beastie. And this is Chris and Dan from Bampton in Bridlington and I've had some great uh, communications with them over uh, YouTube and on email and they've been very very uh, supportive of my re channel and they're, they're absolutely lovely people and uh, <laughs> they've got so many interests which uh, correspond with, with my uh, eccentricities and interests as well. And this is his lordship. Not absolutely sure what these traction engines were actually used for. You know, maybe they were used for pulling heavy plant uh, around the countryside, cranes, and and they, they pulled fur ground attractions, did they? I don't, I'm not quite sure. Um, were they used for power? 
uh, were they used in the fields? Uh, I'm just not absolutely sure. Um, today they're, they're uh, museum pieces. And they're absolutely beautifully uh, maintained. This looks as if it was maybe uh, used on, in, in the fields uh, for maybe pulling uh, early combine harvesters. I'm not, not sure. They were probably used on the, on the building of early roads as well. Is this uh, an early combine harvester? I'm not absolutely sure what I'm looking at here. And as things got more refined in the fields, uh, these are early tractors. They were introduced. I love these furs. There, there's one or two of them, you know, these merry-go-rounds. There's one or two of them still uh, knocking about. In, uh, in Ireland and we're on to uh, the pipe organ here another fine example a lot of wood on that one I, I know nothing about, about these uh, these pieces except that they're uh, absolutely beautiful and the, the, the detail is just outstanding. And if the play half as good as the look, my goodness. And the, the history behind these is just remarkable. This uh, is Gavioli. And it's uh, from Paris. It's just it's the the artwork is just remarkable. The colours. It's just beautiful. It looks like a German uh, piece. This is uh, Wilhelm Bruder Psalm Walkerty. Now this is what uh, Chris uh, has added in the notes about uh, this wee uh, traction engine model and uh, caravan. So he says, I uh, wondered whether you'd like a peek at the, the above the traction engine when it was in its basic state was on sale at a market stall in Castleford, West Yorkshire for 65 quid. And Chris was watching this <laughs> and uh, watching it every week. And uh, the price eventually dropped to a meagre 16 quid and he, he bought it. He snapped it up then. And he has repainted it. He has added uh, uh, a bit so on to make it uh, appear more more powerful. And he's lettered it up, and he's added a taller chimney. And the caravan was designed by Chris on paper, and his brother Jeff built it. Uh, and he's done a smashing job on the altar. On, on the organ pipes and the li little uh, Wurlitzer organ, he bought that from a gift shop in Blackpool Tower or at Blackpool Tower, and it was uh, repainted and lettered, and a driver and an organist were added to make the whole thing complete. That's brilliant. There's it all lit up at night. That's absolutely fantastic. To have on your mantelpiece. And Chris, as you can see, is an avid collector of uh, traction engine models and cars and 
all sorts here and uh, this is probably only part of his, his, his collection and uh, it's painstaking work and uh, it's brilliant love it and if anybody has any collections like this you know of cars or motorbikes or anything like that and they would want to get them you know offer them to me uh, uh, to fill them for my channel you know you know uh, post in on my uh, my channel notes um, and I'd be very pleased to come and visit you if you live uh, you know within easy baking distance of Belfast <laughs>